Hey you guys, my name is Jeff. Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, fantastic. Take a seat and stay a while. If you haven't, take a seat and stay a while. Because today, we're gonna talk about investing in a storm. Now I wanna talk with you about the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. The ticker symbol is VTI. And I wanna to explain to you why I personally find this a fantastic ETF to invest in during really chaotic, volatile, turbulent times like today. Because I think there's a lot of noise out there and there's a lot of commotion. I mean, let's face it, all the media outlets, all of the websites, all the YouTube channels are Talking about all the doom and gloom, I see words like pain, scary, fearful, crash, everywhere you look there are like flames. And I feel as though people who have these positions of educating other investors are taking this opportunity to freak people out. And you know, I think it's just a natural part of being human to either be, you know, in this fight or flight mode. And I think a lot of times, People who get interested in the stock market and in investing are vulnerable to you know, people who make you feel as though you need to do something now because of some external factors that are way beyond your control. And I think what the stock market is doing right now is beyond all of our control and nobody has the ability to predict what's going to happen in the next few days or weeks or months. And I believe anyone who tells you they know what's going to happen or that they can read the charts and predict short-term, medium, long-term movements is probably full of it. And I think it's much better to figure out who you are as an investor and figure out a system that works for you that you can do over time. And if you approach investing in a business-like way, meaning it's not driven by your emotions, but it's driven by something thoughtful and repeatable, I think you're gonna have a much better chance at succeeding over the long run. Now what I'm gonna talk with you about is an index fund ETF. And if you're not familiar with these things, don't worry, I'll make it real simple. An index fund is a collection of stocks that are wrapped up in a package that you can buy over a stock exchange in a really convenient, easy, low cost way. This makes it so that you don't have to pick individual stocks. There's a lot of time and energy and effort that goes into researching companies and some people just either don't have the time. Or... So let's take a moment and look at what's inside the portfolio for VTI. So the ETF itself, like I said, it's like a basket or a collection of stocks. And uh, one of the first ones and the largest holding is in Apple. So I'll write this down here. So you get a little bit of Apple stock whenever you buy a share of VTI. You also get some Microsoft. You get some Amazon. You also get some Alphabet and Class, class, do you remember that? Teacher was always like, what's next? You're like, I don't know. Well, you get some Tesla. You get some other stocks, okay? You get a little bit of Berkshire Hathaway. You guys know about Berkshire, right? That is run by none other than Warren Buffett and his partner, Charlie Munger. You get some Johnson & Johnson. AKA JNJ. Then in addition to this stock, these stocks, you get a little bit of United Health Group, which we will just call United. How about that? United Health. That does the trick. And then you also get some Facebook, AKA Meta, but we're just gonna call it Facebook right because that's how we know it and finally some Nvidia N V I D I A Nvidia so that should be about 10 I like it 
they started small and got started large and got a little bit smaller. But here's just a, a little collection you can see of the different stocks. Now these are the 10 largest holdings in this ETF. That means whenever you invest some money, like if you take $100 and you buy shares or you take $1,000 and you buy shares of this ETF, you're gonna get a collection of stocks. And in this particular ETF, it invests in large cap, which are large company, mid cap, which are medium sized company, and small cap, which are small companies. And so there are more than 4,000 stocks in the entire fund because it attempts to invest in a collection that matches all of the companies in the United States. So these are the top 10 largest, but you have to figure there are more than 4,000 other companies. So you're pretty much exposed to the whole US stock market. Now, if you only wanted to invest in the largest 500 companies, then you could invest in the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, which is VOO. And if you wanted to invest in a more diversified collection of stocks, you could invest in the Vanguard Total World Stock ETF, which is VT. But no matter which one you choose, the goal here is to own a whole lot of different stocks so that you're not having to select just one or two or three or whatever and create your own portfolio because you're basically saying, I don't know which stocks are gonna be the best performers. I don't have the time or the desire to try to figure all that out. And I would rather just own a broadly diversified collection of stocks. So I personally like VTI, but I own a few other ETS. And you know, getting back to investing during a storm, I think a broadly diversified ETF makes sense because what I've found here in 2022 is that every month I'm able to invest a certain amount of money, it's the same amount, and I do it every month. And I think that if I didn't commit to doing what, this is called dollar cost averaging, if I didn't commit to a certain amount every month, I think it would be very easy to get distracted by the market. So the markets have been going down as everybody probably knows if you're watching this video. And I think there's just a human tendency to, to look at the market and say, oh, it's going down and try to pick the bottom, try to pick the lowest prices possible to pay for those shares that you're buying. And so what you do is you like wait and you know maybe the prices go down and then you think I should wait a little bit longer, but invariably nobody's able to pick the bottom and nobody knows how long this market decline is gonna last. So there's a good chance that by the time you figure out that it's an all time low or you're buying the dip, well, you know what, everybody else has figured that out a few minutes or a few hours or days before you and the stock prices have already gone up. So that attempt to kind of beat the odds and beat all the other investors, uh, I have found that it's just impossible to do so. Rather than try to pick these moments in time, I think for me at least personally, I like just investing a small amount uh, every month. And uh, you know, I find that here we are in June and I've been investing every month. now. Uh, I don't know the exact prices uh, that I've paid over the past six months, but I know, for example, uh, I made a purchase at, on the 1st of June, and I think it was $205.70, and that was the lowest price I had paid for a share in ownership of these 10 companies. I was able to buy a piece of all of these for 205 bucks. And I looked at the price for VTI today, today is the 16th of June, and I think it's somewhere around 186 bucks per share. But it's the exact same companies, it's the same list, right? So what you're doing is you're able to buy a portion or a part, a basket of all these stocks, and you're able to get them cheaper today, just two weeks later than they were a couple weeks ago. And so, you know, I'm not buying VTI right now, but I plan to on the 1st of July. And so, if things are somewhat where they are today, maybe they'll even be cheaper, who knows, I'm gonna be able to keep buying these shares. And, you know, here's the thing. You like storms. You like the kind of fear and the uncertainty that drives stock prices down. And if you're a long-term investor, you're gonna get this very, 
I, I just say it's the contrarian approach because when everyone else around you is losing their minds and freaking out and wondering what they should be doing, you're gonna know exactly what you're gonna be doing and you're actually gonna feel more confident and more sure that your approach is gonna work because every month you see that you're paying a lower and lower price. It's like totally counterintuitive in a way because most investors feel real safe and comfortable when they're paying higher and higher prices and they see stocks or ETFs going higher and higher. But you don't wanna be paying as much as you possibly can for stuff. And that's just the way I think about it. So uh, I like investing during these times. Um, it's not necessarily something that every other person watching this video is gonna catch. I think in some respects, investing is something that you get a feeling for in within a couple of years. You just get a feel and you gain confidence in the fact that buying things when prices are low is gonna be much more advantageous to you over the long term than buying things when they're expensive. Uh, your total returns will be much greater over the long term, five years, 10 years, if you buy when prices are low than if you wait and only buy when prices are high and it's comfortable. So that's, that would be my, my message to you is get comfortable with being uncomfortable. You know, you never want to YOLO it all in just because you think the stock market is at an all time low or that you're buying the dip because these kind of like all in big events, you know, when you act decisively at some moment, you're basically committing yourself to that moment in time. And nobody knows what they're, when they're right. Nobody knows for sure in advance. But I find that just having a system, a monthly system, makes a lot of sense, at least for me. And uh, you know, I think it's good to learn as much as you can and watch as many different videos, read, educate yourself. But I just wanted to share this with you because I think a lot of the other videos that you're gonna see online are gonna have the word fear or pain or crash and they're kind of gonna, whether you're aware of it or not, make you feel as though you need to do something in response to this market environment. And my own experience is that you don't need to do anything special. If you've made your plan, if you know what you wanna do, if you don't need the money this year or next year, then I think it's a lot easier to just keep going with your system and investing over the long run and you'll be fine. I really am glad that you came by and checked out this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. That way other people out there in YouTube land are gonna you know, potentially find out from the algorithm that this was worth it for you. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider tapping the little subscribe button and clicking the bell icon and that way you'll get a heads up whenever I make more videos. So glad we got to spend a little time here together and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.